Hello, Aries. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, so glad to have you back again. And I do hope all of you are doing well this week. So let's take a look at what the cards are indicating for the week ahead. And this is for the week of April 3rd through the 9th, 2023. As always, take what resonates, leave the rest, and please take a moment and subscribe and help support my channel. So let's get started. First up, the Five of Wands. Next, the Page of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. And your overall energy for the week is the Four of Wands. Okay, I really like that, Aries. All right, Crystal for the week, Green Aventurine. I do have Green Aventurine. I call it my Pancake Crystal. Look at that. So we'll bring that into your reading. Oracle message for the week, Orphaned. Oh, okay. Well, Aries, there's an energy of you moving on to something new, almost like you've outgrown something or kind of going to the next level of something. So it's a very personal growth kind of energy. You're progressing on your life journey. And the energy that I'm picking up is one where you're in uncharted territory at this time. So we are going to start off here with your overall energy as this is kind of the driving force this week. And you have the four of wands. So for some areas, you could be getting engaged, you could be getting married, you could be celebrating something or recently celebrated something, some kind of maybe a mile marker birthday. It could be an anniversary something where there is an event or cause for celebration, just kind of making memories, you might say. But I'm really also picking up getting engaged. So some of you are going to be getting married and you're going to be moving on to married life. You're leaving single life behind. So this is the uncharted territory that I was picking up. And so with this being your overall energy, it is a very positive energy. It's the natural course of things. And for some of you, this four of wands could represent um, going to this type of ceremony, which might then make you start thinking about your own life journey. Clarifying card is the major iconic card, the sun This is love and happiness, um, just a very positive card. And not surprised to see that coming up for the Four of Wands. But for some Aries, what I am also picking up is you're taking center stage. So definitely could be some kind of ceremony. Certainly you could be like the bride or groom. You're getting the focus, the attention in regards to what you're celebrating. So definitely something where... You are the star, Aries. Very nice energy to carry you through for the week ahead. Now, your first tarot card here is the Five of Wands. So one more, one past this Four of Wands energy. So this can be an energy where you're just trying to get used to things. There's a little bit of conflict, confusion, maybe some ups and downs. And a good example of this would be if you're leaving single life, you're going to be getting married and starting your life together with someone else. Whereas maybe before, you know, you could have been living alone or you were living with your family. So the five of wands is kind of like the next step and the complications and things that you have to work through before everything is running smoothly. So five of wands can be conflict it can be in regards to competition. Uh, could be that uh, maybe some of you are advancing in regarding a position in your work environment and then getting used to the position. 
And maybe you're going into where now you are in charge of a group of people and you might have been previously friends with this group and now you're in charge of them. So there can be some conflict and energy here that you have to work through. So five of wands is um, kind of like the next adventure and opportunity that's coming in. But there are things that have to be worked out, Aries. This could apply to basically anything that you're going into that is like new uncharted territory. That seems to be the phrase coming through, but exciting at the same time. Clarifying card, you have the Queen of Swords. Well, this is absolutely now seeing things clearly. Maybe whatever like the next thing that's happening for you, whatever you're going into, you might not have thought it entirely through all the way. And now you're kind of seeing things clearly. So getting into a new position, especially if it's a leadership position, you know, you're now realizing how you must be with your fellow employees. If you're engaged, you're getting married, coming back from the honeymoon and getting into that day-to-day -day, uh, daily life with the other person. And now you're starting to see how things truly will be. So it's kind of like that kind of energy coming in. And again, it's different for every Aries, but the energy can be applied to whatever is taking on like a new direction or a new level to something Aries. Next, you do have the Page of Cups. There is a new desire. There's something that is coming in that you really wanted, Aries, and it's here. So definitely expect the unexpected because something that you've been kind of wishing for and hoping for is possibly um, turning up this week. And that's why possibly you have the overall energy here of celebration. So for some of you, it could be someone's popping the question, you're getting engaged this week, taking things to the next level. But this is what you desire. This is what you're hoping for. This could be new love coming in. This could be something that you really enjoy doing, something that's very creatively inclined, so to speak. That could be getting to do something creative now in your work environment, possibly a new opportunity coming in where you can be more creative. But Page of Cups is some kind of new desire, new interest, a new feeling, you know, following your intuition as well, and certainly new love coming in. Clarifying card, the Two of Wands. You have one wand firmly in place. That is how you've been, your cycle, your phase that you've been living. And now there's this new wand, this new choice. So now you have options. So kind of um, at the crossroads this week, because there is something that is changing, something that you're celebrating. And for some of you, it's letting go of some facets, some old version of yourself. So again, like the best example that's just popping up into my mind is if you were single and now you've gotten engaged, you're going to be getting married. So you're going to be leaving that single life behind. So it is like crossing over. It's like a mile marker. That's another phrase that I just keep picking up for your reading. Uh, mile marker to something personal development, personal growth. It's kind of the natural progression on your life journey and certainly could be in connection with someone else, in particular, a partner or even a group of people. Next, you do have the Knight of Wands. Not surprised to see him. Nights are all about movement and change, and there is definite change happening this week, and it's very positive and uplifting change. It's something that you're going to be, you know, celebrating. Moving on kind of energy. And this night, it's something you certainly have a passion for. The wands can represent possibly... Um, the Knight of Wands can represent like another fire sign coming in. It could be a Sagittarian uh, that's showing up this week. Certainly, it could be someone that you're meeting that you didn't expect because that is the Page of Cups energy. You're really hitting it off. 
So you could have been single. Now you're still single, but you met somebody new. So now you're dating. So it's something of that nature in regards to your personal life or your work life or something that you're working on or working towards. It is an energy of moving to the next level. It's a very positive celebratory kind of energy that's associated with it. Clarifying card, the five of swords. This is certainly winning at all costs, really going after what it is that you want. And I almost get the feeling that you're leaving something behind. For some Aries, you could be leaving individuals behind. And that would make sense if like you're going into a leadership type position, maybe transferring to a different department, you're going you know, to supervise a group of people and the existing friends, people that you worked with, you're, you're having to kind of leave them behind. So it's certainly that kind of energy for some of you. And it certainly could be you're wrapping up school, you're finishing your studies, you're going to be uh, moving on and launching yourself into what you got a degree in. So you're leaving behind college roommates and buddies because now you're just moving on with your personal journey. And um, a graduation can certainly be what the Four of Wands is all about here as well. The Five of Swords here is kind of a difficult energy because you're letting go of something that has been part of your life. It may be a long cycle, a phase that you've been in, and now you're leaving that behind. Now your crystal for the week is green aventurine, and it does say new opportunities. It is affiliated with the heart chakra, so that follows suit with all this positive, wonderful energy. You know, you have the wands energy, which is something that you feel very passionate about. And that certainly could be a new job, a new hobby, new partnerships, new romantic relationship. All of that could be just around the corner coming in this week. Just a new way of life coming in. So Aries, be open to these positive changes and new beginnings. That is what your cards are indicating for the week ahead. And with this green aventurine crystal, it's your spirit guides, you know, pretty much giving you a green light, letting you know the conditions around you are right for you to embrace this new path, this new idea, this new desire that you have. Very positive and creative energy that I'm picking up, Aries. Um, green aventurine here is known as the stone of opportunity. It helps you to release old patterns and habits. So then you can be positive, confident, and motivated to embrace changes and then new opportunities that your cards are indicating this week. So a very good time to focus on manifesting prosperity in your life this week, Aries. Now your oracle message for the week ahead, you have orphaned. Look at this little guy. So I feel this is in regards to kind of what you're leaving behind. If you're graduating from college, it could be leaving behind roommates that you've really bonded with, college friends. Everybody's going to now be going off into the world, going on different paths. You could be very sad about this and almost... Um, you know, just feeling left out. Um, it, it's, again, the uncharted territory. So the orphan card is about loss, possibly going into a new situation that you might feel out of place. Not necessarily that you don't fit in, but you have to get used to like this new path, this new direction that you're going in. So it is an energy that causes uncertainty and maybe a sense of loss. So definitely could be your shifting. You've got personal growth. You might be getting married. You could be having a baby and starting a family. So it's moving on to a new chapter in some sense. And again, in regards to relationships, your personal life, your job, where you're living, things of that nature. So you can even feel some kind of loss as you might be moving house. You're moving away from neighbors and a community that you've been established with. 
So it could be for some Aries that you are moving out of the house that you grew up in. And even though you're going on a new and exciting adventure, you're leaving behind. It almost feels like you're leaving your childhood behind. So um, even the numerology to this card you can see is number five. It's a difficult energy, but once you get going, you'll be fine, Aries. Now, last message here is from the Making Magic deck. You received little luxuries, generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. Okay. Well, that certainly goes hand in hand with your Four of Wands card um, and the very positive Sun card energy here. This could be just celebrations, uh, birthday parties, anniversaries, weddings, graduation, uh, definitely luxurious experiences, mile marker birthdays, special anniversaries, the birth of a child. These are all the little luxuries of life, Aries. So something is shifting and moving for you this week. So enjoy this new, fresh, positive energy that is coming in for you. All right, Aries, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and visit my website if you'd like a private reading. Love and abundance to my Aries family.